Hi, my name is Jacqueline Hamill, and this project allowed me to understand what it feels like to be a cultural outsider. Culture is a group's way of thinking and doing that is passed on across generations. There were many concepts that I learned in class that could be applied to this project. First, I was able to apply the iceberg model of culture to real life situations. This was created by Edward T. Hall, which emphasizes the internal part of culture below the surface of a society that we can be blinded to. I found that both cultural experiences went deeper than the surface level and really exemplified values, leadership styles, and notions of belonging. My eyes were open to the different values that people stand by and where these values can originate from. Additionally, I was able to gain a better understanding of ethno-relativism, which is seeking cultural differences through acceptance, adaptation, and integration. From being an outsider, I was able to recognize one's own culture is just one of many equally valid cultures and able to take on different perspectives. For example, I mentioned in my paper that I, diff that I had a different perspective on the MSU basketball team and organization as a whole. I was able to take my own cultural experience and expand upon that new knowledge. This allowed me to integrate and recognize having multidimensional cultural identity. Lastly, attitudes, stereotypes, and prejudice were talked about in this unit, and I was able to apply them to the Insider Outsider project. My attitude changed about how I felt about a, gr a group of people. In this scenario, I felt a greater appreciation for all of the work that goes in behind the scenes of a regular basketball game. I also had a certain stereotype about people who were involved with sports at Michigan State and thought one had to, be connect had to have a connection to be involved with this tight-knit community. However, I was wrong. Overall, what I learned relates to learning and education because no matter what the situation, you have to be open to other cultural ideas and values. People should not be closed off to other people's culture because it allows one to gain a better understanding of the way people act and think. Additionally, it gives one the opportunity to learn more about others and even more about themselves. I found that with this project, I was able to learn more about myself and where my values and beliefs stem from. Culture is extremely valuable, and whether it's in the classroom, workplace, or life in general, people will appreciate you more if you are willing to be open to a belief that might, not be, that might be different from yours. This doesn't mean changing your stance or ways, but simply being understanding can go a really long way. This will give someone cultural competence, which is defined as the ability to understand, communicate with, and effectively interact with people across cultures. Cultural competence values being aware of one's own worldview, developing positive attitudes toward cultural differences, and gaining knowledge of different cultural practices and worldviews. I really enjoyed this project and I thought it gave one a deeper understanding of culture.